Up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Blimey. But I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh. oh Mr. Marston. Oh. How are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? No, thank you, my dear. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pricker and fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Ooh, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking, defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Easy, friend, don't go getting all so Where are we going, just Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. Twice, I'm telling you, Johnny boy, friend, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. hobble tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh! Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. 
You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again! <laughs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. I'm gonna give you just a good and hard. No! Hard to kill! But I'm the man for it. Oh my gosh. I thought thank you for your kindness, Mr. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. It's gonna be one, one, one hell of a fight. Let's head before the door. Follow me. Get out of the problem with me. That, that, that's it. Introduce this son of bitches to your bubble, 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 pal, Mr. Rock. Come on. There's only two of us. No, no you don't. Finish these sons of bitches! Sure is a lot of them. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Shh, 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 shh. You'll get your half. 
More, you dirty fucking snake. All right, gentlemen. Let's go. Fucking fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. All right, hop on. I'll get us out of here. Are you coming or not? Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williams has got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I think? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Marston, we'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. John. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or... 
slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go! My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> now, Jack! No! You want more? Drop some of
them cocksucking son of bitches escape the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I bid you farewell. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Marston. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparosa, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. <laughs> Chu 
for feckin' Rosa. Well, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Forgive me, friend. PlayStation.